Natural water sources in Castle Rock are hard to come by. We live in a semi-arid community and only get about 15 inches of rain a year. The natural aquifers below us are used by communities all across the Front Range. And there's Plum Creek, but that's just not enough for everybody. There's really only one solution. Yeah, it's reuse water. What exactly is reuse water? It's making safe drinking water out of wastewater. After some of the drought years in the early 2000s, the town devised a plan for its water future. That plan was renewable water that comes from sources that are replenished each year. A major supply for the town of Castle Rock is East Plum Creek. Communities downstream of Castle Rock use this supply as well. What about importing water from some of the larger rivers like the Colorado or the uh, South Platte? Yeah, there's a cost to importing water, and that's simply too great for a town like Castle Rock to import water from the Colorado River. We do get some water from the Colorado River and the South Platte River through our WISE supply. In fact, some of our imported water is also Aurora's purified reuse water. The most economical source for Castle Rock over the long term is to get water coming from our wastewater treatment plant. So all the water from the town comes here. A and of course, everyone's first impression is like, ugh, like we're gonna drink that? It's not as bad as it sounds. As you remember, the uh, wastewater is 99% water. And uh, the communities downstream are already using that water. We treat the water to the environmental standards and we've been doing that for years. Environmental standards, what, what does that mean? So that means the water that leaves here is safe for the environment. We remove contaminants uh, that are required by the uh, Colorado Department of Public Health and the EPA. And, and then what happens to the water after that? And then we return the water to East Plum Creek. The treated water that goes back into Plum Creek is safe to use for irrigation, for wildlife, and for people to enjoy recreationally. Now, other communities use recycled water for irrigation, and Castle Rock does too. They do. They use a portion of that treated water to irrigate the uh, Red Hot Golf Course and it's just a small portion of the water that's available. The water in Plum Creek flows downstream where other communities can take it out and treat it for their own use. That was water the town had already paid for, so why let it go? So the town built this. This new pump station a few miles downstream from the wastewater plant removes the creek water and sends it back to Castle Rock through a huge pipe. The pipeline is big enough to transfer up to 25 million gallons a day. It ends up here at the Plum Creek Water Purification Facility. This entire facility was built as part of the renewable water plan put in place in 2006. This is where Castle Rock turns the creek water into drinking water. So what's the difference between this facility and the wastewater treatment plant? The wastewater treatment plant makes water safe to discharge to the environment, while this facility, the purification facility, makes water safe for human consumption, which is drinking water. This facility can treat all of the town's water supply sources. That includes reuse water, creek water, groundwater, and imported water, making them safe to drink. The water flows through nine different treatment processes. This is one of them before the end of the line where it's safe for human consumption. Each of the processes attacks different types of contaminants. Some remove minerals like iron and manganese. Others search and destroy organisms like bacteria and viruses. And there are processes that eliminate pharmaceuticals and other things like caffeine and hormones. So it's important to note at the purification facility, we don't rely on any single treatment process to make the water safe to drink or remove contaminants. Instead, we employ what's called a multiple barrier approach or redundant processes. In the event that one process fails or one is taken offline for maintenance, we're able to still produce the same water quality at the end of the line. Well, it sounds like the entire process of, of purifying the water is, is really expensive. It does sound expensive. However, reuse water may be Castle Rock's most sustainable and most cost-effective water supply source. It's less expensive than buying new water or pumping it from a long way away. It's better for the environment if we don't have to pump it out of the ground. And since it's water we already have, we can rely on it when conditions are tough, like in another drought. Reuse water is the future for many communities, and Castle Rock is paving that path forward for Colorado. In part three of our series on reuse water, we'll explore the Plum Creek Water Purification Facility and how treatment processes purify our water. <laughs>